motorhomes. They come in all sizes and in all prices. This motorhome is worth around $2 million. They offer luxurious surroundings. Wow, it's like an aeroplane, isn't it? No matter where you want to go. We're driving around the world in our beautiful, beautiful truck. With a sense of freedom like no other holiday. Yay! Caravan on the back! <laughs> We're posher than you. <laughs> and the chance to live life on the open road. If you're going to dream, dream big. Whether it's for the weekend... Bob's your uncle! Fanny's your aunt! <laughs> or maybe longer. We went from a two-bedroom house to living in a motorhome. <laughs> and can be customised to your every desire. Even the cattle is good. Everything's good here. When money is no object, you can have whatever you want. The paintwork, that alone is £12,000. It all adds up. Join us for an exclusive look at all motorhomes, great and small. For me and my motorhome, it's like a hotel on wheels. This is easier to drive than a Bentley. Coming up... We go shopping with multi-millionaire Charlie Mullins. I can't believe that. That's amazing. We're off on a day trip with comedian and actor Ricky Tomlinson. It doesn't even matter about the weather, does it? We... No, not when you're in you got luxury like this. And we meet the couple who sold their house and moved into an £82,000 motorhome. It's like the TARDIS. You look at it from the outside, you're like, how? Motorhome sales in the UK have reached record levels. There is definitely more motorhomes uh, in certain areas uh, than there are cars. Uh, I've just come back from Cornwall. Uh, there was quite a few of us. The more demand there is... Every year, there's a bigger and better motorhome that comes out, and it's irresistible to not go and have a look. The more opulent they get. You could have LED lights in, you know, underfloor lighting down here. You could put your own TV in, sound system, you know, it's your baby, you can fine-tune it and you can bespoke it and just fall in love with it. Ricky! Oh, nice, I'm coming! Hold your horses! Actor and funny man Ricky Tomlinson and the wonderful comedian John Martin are today off down memory lane. OK, kid. <laughs> Get the old seatbelt on. Never this forget. Will do us. I'm looking forward to this. Ricky is no stranger to motorhomes. I first fell in love with the idea of having a motorhome a long time ago, and then when I did eventually get one, I actually bought it off Twiggy of the royal family, off Jeff Hughes, who was a good mate of mine, and he showed me this uh, this little camper van, and I thought, oh, I'll have that, and I bought it off him. And it was wonderful. We're all going on a, a summer holiday. I noticed, Ricky, you've got a thing on your eye, a plaster on your eye. I've got eye. a plaster on my eye, yeah. This is a little growth which is coming off in a couple of weeks. Yeah, yeah. Driving in style, John's hired a luxury motorhome to take them to visit Ricky's, which is kept in storage. Yeah. We're like Lola and Hardy moving the piano, are yeah, you yeah, mean you? Yeah, absolutely. We're on our way. It doesn't even matter about the weather, does it? We? No, not when, when you're in it. You've got luxury like this. Well, our yours, yours will be luxury, won't it? Well, it's not quite as up-to-date as this. No? I've told him I'm going over to the camper man to see what it's like, but I've told him a few little fibs. I've told him it's, it cost me £200,000 and it's uh, top of the range. <laughs> When he sees it, he'll wish he was home, home on the range. <laughs> so where did you and Rita go in it, then? We went down the south of England very often, you know, to Devil and Cornwall. Nice. Yeah, and so then you, North Wales. So you were doing staycations before anyone even thought of exactly. it? Exactly. Ricky's not fond of driving larger vehicles anymore, so no longer goes on trips with his wife, Rita, and the family in the motorhome. I haven't been in it for a couple of years. It's been in storage and... I'm almost afraid to go and look at it. Will Ricky's beloved motorhome be as he remembers, or will its days on the road be a thing of the past? It probably wants checking over, you know, because as I say, it's a while since I've seen it. Been a while, couple of years. A couple of years? Yeah. Is it still there? I'm hoping so. I'm hoping so, been playing storage. <laughs> I hope so.
Have you packed? I haven't yet. I'll get back together now. OK. Uh, well, what are you going to take? What do we take with us? Oh, we definitely need a jumper, cos it looks like the weather's changed again. Self-made multi-millionaire Charlie Mullings is planning his next adventure from his £10 million Riverside apartment in London with his friend Rara. Evidently, I'm worth a few quid, according to the newspapers. Um, I think the last count was... Uh, 150 or 180 mil or something. Better check your bank statement rather than the newspapers, Charlie. The plumber turned entrepreneur started out as a one man band, but now owns the UK's largest independent plumbing company. Tea in a flask? <laughs> Tea? No, it will make all that there, won't you? Oh! I think I've worked hard over the years to, to be able to enjoy the nice things in life. I, I wake up every day and just think to myself, it can't get any better. Let's go. Charlie has travelled the world extensively, but he's mulling over the idea of getting a motorhome to see more of the UK beyond their bathrooms and toilets. To be honest, I don't even think I've seen a mobile motorhome. Does it have an upstairs, downstairs? I ain't got a clue whether it's all on one level. Where do the staff stay? It's not Downton Abbey on wheels, Charlie. We'll need this one with card. Credit card? <laughs> well, of course, if, we, if, we, if we're going to buy it, then you've got to yeah. have the thing with you, haven't you? His limit's obviously a bit higher than mine. And how many suitcases do you need? You're only going to Portsmouth. I think what, what does worry me is this place is an incredible apartment, you know what I mean? You know, I don't really want to do a downgrade, I want to do an upgrade. It's going to have to be something special to, for me to um, get the checkbook out, I think. Today, they're going shopping at South Downs Motorhome Centre in Portsmouth. Charlie has never stepped into a motorhome before, so this is a whole new world for him. Lovely, isn't it? Wow, it's like an aeroplane, isn't it? If this Burstner elegance is to our multi-millionaire's liking, it could set him back just under £150,000. These capsule chairs will spin around, make it a really sociable lounge area. Quite easy to do. Just flip the button. Turn it round, slide it back. That's amazing, eh? Wow. And if Charlie thinks that's good, just wait till he sees where the second bed is. I can't believe that. That's amazing. And the features just keep coming. Well, look at this shower. This is lovely, isn't it? Yeah, you have to check the plumbing in it, Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> but will the motorhome dazzle Charlie enough to put his hand in his pocket? I've never heard anybody knocking them, if I'm being honest, but I hope I'm not going to be disappointed by it. You know, I'm a person to please. Coming up, we meet the couple who live full-time in their £82,000 motorhome. It's obviously compact. We've got to save space at the end of the day, but honestly, we regularly cook a whole roast dinner in here. And will multi-millionaire Charlie's shopping trip be a success? Where's the champagne? Get the yeah, champagne out. We haven't, we haven't bought it yet. <laughs> Mum, so if I get them all out and shout it out to you and then yeah. you tick it off. Go for it. It's a busy day at Hay Campers headquarters in Leicestershire. If you were renting this van, you'd want it to be perfect. A motorhome rental business run by Trudy and Adam Lilly. The couple have been in business for just under a year. We had been caravanning for many, many years and we, yeah. we love outdoors and exploring. So that's why we started to think about a motorhome. I said to Adam, you can have a motorhome as long as you rent it out when we're not using it. They were soon booked up and they now own a fleet of nine motorhomes. You missed a bit. You do it then. <laughs> <laughs> Their luxury motorhomes rent out from £100 per night. And each motorhome has its own name. If people are driving down the motorway and they see one of our motorhomes, how are they going to tell us which motorhome they've seen and which one they want? And that was when you had the idea to give them all names, wasn't it? Yeah. With nine motorhomes out at any one time, Trudy and Adam are constantly kept on their toes. There you go. Hiya. Good morning. Finally. <laughs> I was expecting you at quarter past nine. It says he reversed into a wall. Yeah, look, it's all gone there. Maisie, the motorhome, has been in an accident. I just hit it at the back there. It's forced it down, cracked it through there. This is hanging down. So what can you do for today? Because well, it's going, going it, out yeah, at three. I'm going to make it look 
As good as I can. Get cracking then, I'll leave you to it. <laughs> yeah, OK, right, thanks. With insurance in place, it's not the cost of the damage the couple are worrying about. They have new customers coming to pick it up in a few hours, but can they fix it in time? Which plates are you going for? I'm going for the new ones. Oh, nice. It's breakfast time in Yeovil, Somerset for couple Pete and Bridie. I'm worth a wait. But this couple aren't on their holidays. Two years ago, fed up with their humdrum life, they decided to live in a motorhome full time. We went from a two-bedroom house, two large reception rooms, a large kitchen and bathroom, to living in a motorhome. <laughs> hey, Good boy. Buddy. It's not just the two of them living in the motorhome. They are joined by their dogs, Molly and Marvin. Oh, it's a dog's life, eh? Hey, buddy. This Rapido A-Class motorhome cost the couple a whopping £82,000. It's like the TARDIS. You look at it from the outside, you're like, how? So this is our kitchen. Um, it's obviously compact. We've got a safe space at the end of the day. We've got the three gas burner hob and we've got the gas oven and grilled. Now, it looks small, but honestly, we regularly cook a whole roast dinner in here. Mmm, sounds good to me. We've just got a rhythm now where we just step around each other. You have to work as a team, but we, we do work well together. Pete and Bridie are two of the estimated 60,000 people living full-time on the road in the UK. The couple are currently busy planning their next big adventure. So I think the one thing that is non-negotiable about our venue is the fact that it has to have land. They are getting married next year and they need to decide on a venue that ticks every box. I think the motorhome has had such an impact on our relationship. I kind of want it to be part of our day. Can a motorhome be your bridesmaid? We really need to get the venue sorted. And make sure that this is actually right for us. How was Lottie this morning? She was really good, actually. She ate all her breakfast up. In Gloucestershire, Paralympic equestrian Natasha Baker and her mum are in their bespoke motorhome worth nearly half a million pounds. She's looking nice and relaxed. It wasn't just Natasha and her mum sleeping in the motorhome last night. This customised vehicle has been designed with Lottie the horse in mind. So my motorhome is also a horse box. It just means that we can stay on site, look after the horse and travel in luxury. Today, Natasha is about to compete in the 2021 equestrian qualifiers for the Tokyo Paralympic Games. It's really, really important that I do well here today. Yeah, fingers crossed I get the results. She's got hot competition in her grade, so Natasha will be really working to produce that top-end performance to secure that place on the flight for Tokyo. As Natasha mounts Lottie, the moment of truth is finally here. Can she do enough to secure her place on Team GB? So we welcome to the International Arena representing Great Britain once more. Natasha, It's a strong showing by Natasha, but the Paralympic judges don't announce the members of Team GB for a few more days, so now it's just a waiting game. I was really, really pleased with our performance today. I've done absolutely everything I can now, so it's up to the judges and see what score I get, and fingers crossed. Best of luck, Natasha. So this is a better quality range. Multi-millionaire businessman Charlie Mullins is shopping for his first motorhome with his friend Rara. <laughs> yeah, this, to, to me, this is more like yacht style. He's about to check out his second motorhome of the day at South Downs Motorhome Centre, the Cathargo Chic E-Line. Yes, this is it. This is just like Hollywood, Charlie. Really? That's the reaction hey, the big spender. Yeah. Where's the champagne? Get the yeah, champagne out. <laughs> we haven't bought it yet. Oh, I like this. 
Oh, it's much better. Oh, this luxurious motorhome costs a mega £175,000 and is one of the best for providing everything you need to have a totally independent adventure. You've got things like this, look, you've got a coffee machine here. Blimey. Oh, this is a different class, isn't it? The lounge seating can also be converted into a sleeping area. This will drop down in that gap. There's a pad that goes in there and you can make a bed in this area here. Eh? Really? And if that's not snazzy enough... Oh, oh my God. Wow, there we go. Hey! How you doing? <laughs> Slow and steady wins the race. That's brilliant. Oh, it's different class. Yeah. 40-inch flat-screen TV to view at your pleasure. That's nice, isn't it, the shower? Oh, great. Uh, a proper rain much. shower above your head there. And the most important feature... Okay. Plastic springing. The very, very comfortable bed. You wouldn't need a topper with this. The interior seemed to have made an impression on Charlie, but to get his checkbook out, he's got to be able to drive it first. You want to test drive it? Yeah! I'm sure we can arrange that. Yeah, yeah. Can I'm we? Sure, I'm, sure, I'm sure we can arrange that for really? you. Really? Yeah, yeah. Well, take this. Let's take it out. Amazing. Wow. Let's go, then. Mm, very <laughs> impressive. Let's go, yeah. Easier than what I thought, to be honest. To be honest, this is feeling easier to drive than the Bentley. The Bentley can be quite, you know, awkward kind of thing, but this sort of just more or less down itself, isn't it? There's nothing worse than driving an awkward Bentley. All right, let's go to Scotland. Hang on, you've not paid for it yet. Back to the motorhome centre for the final decision. I'm impressed, to be honest with you, and obviously I'm not just going to, you know, say yes at this decision. moment. Yeah. I'm going to think about it, you know what I mean? But seriously think about yeah, it. Have a serious think, because it, it, it'll open up your eyes to the rest of the country. Charlie isn't quite ready to commit to the open road yet, but he's certainly had a taste of the luxury that these motorhomes can give. When it comes to adding luxury mod cons to your motorhome, there's always bigger and better features that can make it stand out from the rest. Internet gadget expert Tommy Adebayo guides us through some must-haves. When you've splashed the cash on a new motorhome, you want to keep it safe. The DPS 360 security system not only has a touch and one category alarm and immobiliser, you also get four cameras so you can see and record video all around your motorhome. The cameras also double up as a reversing and 360 degree parking aid. This system is installed exclusively by Richard Baldwin Motorhomes and it'll come at a cost of £1,695. No excuses for any bumps. Now, is anyone hungry? If feeding the family quickly is a priority, the Gosling Rock Box could be the perfect product for you. This portable wood or gas-fired oven can produce restaurant-grade pizza in just 60 seconds. It's priced at £499. Mamma mia! Isn't it fancy? And after you've stuffed yourself with pizza, you'll be wanting a coffee. The Conqueco portable espresso maker is a very handy device. You can use it with hot and cold water to make the perfect espresso in up to eight minutes. This will cost you in the region of £99 and it's also powered by rechargeable batteries. If you're after something smaller, the Wakako Nano Presso delivers the perfect espresso shot. This little gadget will set you back about £60. But remember, folks, before you go shopping, prices may vary from different suppliers. Did you bring any wine gums or anything? No, no, we'll get some at the uh, service stations. Actor Ricky Tomlinson and comedian John Martin are on their way to Wrexham to check out Ricky's motorhome, which is being kept in storage. I've been thinking about what, 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 what's the van going to be looking like when they get there, and uh, sometimes I just have to shut it after my mind, otherwise I'd have a nervous breakdown. Once used most weekends for family trips, Ricky hasn't seen it for a few years. Well, this is it. This looks a lovely place, Rick. This must be some van of yours. Let's get in Let's there. Let's get in. And you reckon we'll be able to use it, borrow it off oh, you, Rick? Oh, yeah. Look at that. I'd rather not, Ricky. She's ready for the road. Look at that, kid. Bit of a clean there, and she's there. Well, I'm 
bit more than a clean, I think, Rick. Yeah, a bit of a clean. I might, I might even get a, a respray. One of the jobs I was working on, the facility lads, while I was working, went outside and with black gaffer tape, they put the word Jim in front of the Royale. So instead of saying Jim Royal, it's got Jim Royal. <laughs> It might be royal by name, but it's looking far from regal inside. Ricky's motorhome is a Fiat Ducato Swift Royale. You know what? It's as though I've never left it. Look at that. That's perfect. And it's a limited edition. Yeah. Well, there's not going to be many like this, is there, Ricky? Well, I hope not. <laughs> I hope not either. Ah, oh, look at the window. Ah, oh, see, they've been trying to steal it, see? It's honestly, but we can fix that. Oh, I'll tell you what, I'm thrilled to bits. I didn't think it'd still be in such good nick after all this time. Even the mice have moved out, Ricky. We went everywhere in it. We go to all the little campsites on the, on the Welsh coast. And we had a wonderful time, a wonderful time. So I'll get this back on the road. You give me six months. Yeah. I know you say I should be doing six months. I was going to no. say, you might get six months. If you give me six this. months and we'll come back and see this. And then we'll go somewhere, innit? Of course we'll go somewhere, innit? Seems like Ricky might be getting a taste for the motorhoming life once again. As rough as she is now, I'll get the tyres blown up, I'll get the engine having had the look at, I'll get it up, I'll get this back on the road. I Thanks. really mean it. So that'll be our next little project, I mate. think so, and I'll come with you now. We'll be back. I better lock this in case anyone tries to steal I it. Oh, they might try and break in and clean it. <laughs> So Ricky's got a plan to get his old banger on the road again. But now they're heading to a favourite motorhome spot, Rill in Wales. Can you speak well? Yeah, da. There you go. Press that in. That's it. Yeah. Colwyn Bay, that's another one. Coming up, we meet a motorbike racing family with not one, but two huge RVs. Start a pretty big weekend, this, isn't it? And Trudy and Adam are under pressure to fix Maisie the motorhome before the next clients arrive. We just need to get our right, backside in gear and get going. It was once thought that holidaying in a motorhome was for the over 50s. It's quite trendy. And if you see some of these homes, they, I mean, my goodness. Now it seems like everyone and anyone is getting on board the motorhome craze. The practicality of having a motorhome, to see the countryside and see the country that we, we live in, there's nothing better in my opinion. Start a pretty big weekend, this, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, let's just hope it goes according to plan. Luke Hopkins and his family are on their way to an important event. Off to the races! Here we go. Are you excited? Yeah. Oh, I can't wait. They're heading to a motorbike racing competition in Wales. Now semi-professional, Luke started competing when he was just 12 years old. I'm really excited about this next week race. I'm hoping to increase my lead in the championship. With results, you can go after sponsorship. As a family-run team right now, we mainly fund it ourselves. We don't have the support that you need to be able to be at the level that we're at. So when you get good results, that's when the larger sponsors come on. With a big money deal on the line, Luke needs to have a wheelie, sorry, really good result. Can you give me a hand and get this box in? Really? Not wanting to be in a hotel every weekend, the family have invested in not one, but two huge recreational vehicles, otherwise known as RVs. Luke's lad pad is a custom-built Ford Iveco that costs £29,000. Containing bunk beds and a private double bedroom, a modern kitchen, and a spacious dining and lounge area where he can kick back after a hard day at the races. Ah, oh, the radio is just hot. That's how they work, Luke. We're just checking to make sure we've done everything. Whilst Luke's getting ready to race, Mum Zara gets the family's second motorhome set up. 
Okay, so we're at the track now, so I'm gonna make it much bigger. So you're just gonna press the button and then it just slides out. Zara and Gareth's motorhome is a 36-foot Damon Daybreak, costing another £30,000 and provides them with the home comforts they need. It has a seating area that turns into a bed, two bunk beds and a master bedroom. So this is our private space that we use when, you know, when finish we're racing. Um, we can all sit in here all together. It's an awesome space to have. It's brilliant. But with the motorhomes alone costing £60,000, supporting their son doesn't come cheap. If you stand back and look at what we're doing, it's, it's ridiculous. I mean, we're talking two to £4,000 a weekend on tyres alone, and that's not the expensive part. While Dad watches, Mum prefers to wait in their luxury motorhome. I don't like watching him race because too fast makes me really, really nervous. So I make myself a nice cup of coffee and I sit down and I kind of watch on the live timings. I don't blame you, Zara. I'm watching through my fingers. Come on, Luke. Come on. There we go. He's gone into the lead. Oh, no, second. No, back in the lead. Luke manages to hold the other riders off and land the fastest times. Well done, Luke. Over the next five years, I want to kind of make it to world level. Um, which means we'll be doing a lot more travelling in the motorhome. Looks like they may need a bigger one soon. If Luke strikes rich, maybe one day... We can have a million-dollar motorhome. A million-dollar motorhome. Yeah. The Caravan and Motorhome Club say industry sales have tripled since 2000, with 225,000 motorhomes now in Britain. Vantage Motorhomes is an award-winning high-end van conversion motorhomes manufacturer. These luxury motorhomes range from 30 to 95,000 pounds, depending how plush you want to go. The build is a five-stage process, which takes up to eight weeks and 16 people. The vans will come into here and we'll start the initial strip out, so seats will come out, linings will come out, we'll start to put the, the flooring in, start to put the insulation in. The next stage is called tanking. So at this stage, all the appliances underneath the vehicle are fitted, so the water tanks, the gas tanks, pipe work, and we also fit the entrance step here as well. Now it's time to get to the main build of the motorhome. So the main build area is where it really transforms from a van into a motorhome. Signature U-shaped lounge that we do at Vantage to so make your single beds up to a super king size double. And we'll progress that forward with the washroom front seating area on this particular model. The vehicle's interiors are beautifully handmade. In the carpentry and joinery workshop, Morris, one of the craftsmen, carefully cuts the upholstery before the main fittings. This is the back surround of the passenger seat and driver's seat, and it's basically goes on the seat just to cover all the metal and make it look a bit nicer. Once that's completed, they move on to the fourth stage. We do all the sort of lighting, switches, sockets, everything's fitted in and finished off, and then it moves into the final stage. The final stage of the process is what we call PDI, which stands for pre-delivery inspection. So we do all the final tests, all the inspections. So it's all sat, ready, complete, ready for the customer to come and collect. Roughly a year, we're probably edging towards 100 vehicles a year. Most expensive probably out there on the road is in, in the region of about 90, 95,000. And for top end prices, they offer top end extras, including cabin air conditioning for a thousand pounds, leather upholstery for £2,450 and a four-metre awning for £1,050. So you can tailor your motorhome to suit your every need. You see where it's clipped the wall? Oh, it's gone up the side as well. There's a problem in Leicestershire for Adam and Trudy. Steve said he can get it, get it going for us today, yeah? Yeah, you can do a temporary fix. Maisie, one of their motorhomes, has been involved in an accident. And there's damage inside the, the garage. Inside you see as there's well. There's a crack there. Some, it's hit it with some force. Clearly. It's usable, but it's not great. I think any business where you live together and work together, 
has its ups and downs. We need to think how we're going to um, approach it with the customer and insurance. Going into business together has been the best thing that we ever did. Definitely, yeah. And um, it works really well. Yes, OK, the pillow talk is a bit annoying sometimes. <laughs> but, uh, you know... Have you done the you, VAT return? <laughs> but we deal with it. Oh, there's nothing sexier than a VAT return. Hi, guys, welcome. How are you? Very good. Thank yeah, you. Thank you. Fantastic. <laughs> To add more pressure, the customers who are due to pick her up are three hours early. We just need to get our backside in gear and get going. If it's not ready and it's not fixed, then, you know, there's nothing we can do. Steve now has to work like the clappers to get it fixed. With the holiday makers waiting, Trudy does one final inspection. I'm checking to make sure that everything's absolutely spotless and they haven't missed any bits. Maisie the motorhome is a roller team Zafaro, worth just under £50,000 and perfect for deluxe family breaks. Sleeping six people, there is a king-size bed. The dinette seats convert to a double bed and there are two generous adult-sized bunk beds. With a fully equipped kitchen and all mod cons you are likely to need, this family is in for a cracking holiday. The motorhome is finally ready to hit the road again. OK, I'm going to hand you the keys, go and have a look round, get to know everything, and if you have any questions, just come and find me. These lucky holiday makers are about to join the other two million people who holiday in an RV each year. Another successful turnaround done for Adam and Trudy, and although a fleet of nine is keeping them very busy, they've bigger plans for this business. So we're looking to add another 10 motorhomes to the fleet for next year, but we'll be looking in the ballpark of around 50 to £55,000 per motorhome. But does doubling the size mean double the risk? When we've got 20 motorhomes next year, we'll have over a million pounds worth of motorhomes, which is exciting, but also pretty daunting. Oh, Mills. Now it's worth coming out for, hey! Paralympian and five-time gold medalist Natasha Baker is at home in her family's farm in Uxbridge, on the outskirts of London. Last week, she competed in the 2021 Team GB equestrian qualifiers. So we welcome to the International Arena representing Great Britain once more, Natasha Baker. So the news is just in. I've had the phone call to say that I am going to be representing Paralympics GB in the team heading out to Tokyo 2020 for the Paralympic Games. And I am beyond excited. It is such a huge honour to be representing my country for the third time at my first Paralympic Games. And I just can't quite believe it. I'm so excited to head out there with Lottie and hopefully we're going to smash it. Better get booking that hotel. Think it's a bit too far for your motorhome this time. Six weeks later in Tokyo, Natasha did everyone proud and won two silver medals and a gold. When it comes to motorhoming in America, it's big business. Around 40 million people in the US regularly enjoy the open road and they don't hold back when it comes to kitting them out. This is the 2017 Elegant Lady from Liberty Coaches, and elegant she is. To buy this beauty brand new would set you back $2.5 million, which translates into £1.8 million. Widely recognised as the finest conversion coach in the industry, it's perfect for those summer trips. This masterpiece of a motorhome can be operated by a wireless or remote iPad control system. Complete interior and exterior LED lighting and heated flooring. And if that's not enough, has a 55 inch flat screen that rotates from the ceiling. The living and kitchen area features a breakfast bar with two fixed chairs, large galley sink system, a 220 volt two burner cooktop, a full laundry stack with a Bosch washer and dryer, and all the amenities you could think of. Leading us to the bedroom are custom embossed leather closets throughout, 
and a king-size bed with the obligatory mirrored ceiling above it. The main bathroom has an extra-large marble or granite shower and a water jet anti-fume toilet. So, if you want to travel in style, start saving those pounds now. Only 1.8 million to go. Mouse, sit. Mouse, come on, darling. Go. Two years ago, fiancés Pete and Bridie decided to uproot their lives and move into their 82 grand motorhome. Hey, buddy. I'm happy we're out. Oh, are you coming, old limpy girl? Is she behind us? Yeah. It was the most freeing experience. You don't like somewhere, you just move. Honestly, opening up the window to something different every day, you don't know the joy that you actually get from it until you do it. Today, they're packing up once again and heading to look at a potential wedding venue. I've got a great plan. OK. But we should see if we can park the motorhome in front today. Well, like, actually in front of the house? Yeah, why not? That would be so cool. Yeah. Because then it's literally like, we can bring our home and actually put it in some of the wedding photos. They found the beautiful Dillington house in Somerset online. But before they make a final decision, they need to confirm their beloved motorhome can be included in their big day. We can actually get a little bit more of a feel for it, but we do have to keep an open mind and know that it, it might not be right. I agree. Coming up, Ricky Tomlinson sets up camp. Are you all right doing nothing? I'm, I'm organising. And will fiancés Pete and Bridie finally get their dream wedding venue? Oh, my God, are you excited? Part of me is going to cry a little bit, yeah. and I really don't want to. Here we go, Ricky. The sun's come out here. Sunny well, Wales. Yeah. It always shines on the righteous. There you go. This is a proper staycation, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Ricky Tomlinson and John Martin are on a road trip to Rill in North Wales. I tell you what, I'm, I'm motoring here. No wonder it's a motor home. I'm, I'm getting into third gear here. Oh, be careful. Take it easy. The important thing for me about motorhoming or caravanning is the other people that you meet. You can pull up on a site, the guy in the next in the next van there could be a doctor. He could be from the House of Lords. The fellow on that side could be a dustman, a bin man. But there's no class distinction. There are over seven thousand campsites in total across the UK for staycations. One of Ricky's favourite spots is Rill in Wales. The duo are heading to a little campsite to soak up the atmosphere and see if it's still the life for him. All right, this is the place, Ricky. Look, sit. Get the table and chairs out. Set them up here for a minute. We'll have a drink and I'll, uh, I'll get me coat. That's it. Well, I'll get you there, just... Are you all right doing nothing? I'm, never, I'm organising. Are you all right, dear? That'll be OK for a minute. I mean, do you want to have a sleep while I'm doing this? Yeah, that's not about it. Have we got time? So where you're shaving, you think you'd be camping all your life? <laughs> yeah, give us the empty bag, don't you? Well, I'm trying to work out what goes where. I don't know where it should go. <laughs> That's it. Perfect. I've done. Anyway, cheers, kid. You've done really well. Thanks, Rick. I've done me back. You're going to stay with me for the rest of the week. I'll tell you what, this is the life, don't kill them. The only thing is, you've got to be careful you don't get so strong. <laughs> 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 Be careful not to choke on your biscuit, lads. You've still got to have a proper look at your digs for the night. Let's sort this bedding out now while we're at it. Yeah, I bet you get the best. No, I'm OK. Hey, it's all right, yeah. I'm going to give you... Which, which, where do you want it? which one do you want? I'll have the top bunk. That's OK, because you know why? That's too low for me. I'll go over there, the big one on top of the cab. Ah, I didn't see that. No, you didn't see well, that, no. but that's a double bed, you see. Well, at least you're not top and tailing. What's in here? That's the toilet. Toilet? Yeah, toilet, my arse. That's it. 
We'll have to pop into the clubhouse and say hello. Shall we? Yeah, just walk in and say hello. Ever the performers. Ricky and John can't help themselves but do a turn for a proper old trip down memory lane. In the front. <laughs> turn round! Hey! Still got the moves. Oh, oh my god, are you excited? Part of me is gonna cry a little bit and yeah. I really don't want to. Pete and Bridie are getting married and are looking for the perfect venue. Today they're visiting Dillington House in Somerset. Okay, yeah, I'm not gonna lie, this is where I want to get married. <laughs> I think going to the venue is really gonna give us the push to actually figure out what we want. What do you think? I'm speechless. But before they get too carried away, they need to make sure it can accommodate their needs and their £82,000 motorhome. Hi, guys. Welcome to Dillinson House. How are you doing? Adam, the manager, gives them a tour. Shall we head out to the orangery? Yes, please. But will it meet expectations? So this is the orangery where you'll be having the ceremony, and you can see lots of lateral lights. That's brilliant. That's exactly what we want. It's unbelievable. Ceremony in here, and then what happens next? Okay, the next stage is it's on to the sun terrace. Would you like to follow me? Yes, please. So far, so good. But if it's going to pass the test, the grounds need to wow too. And all being well, when the weather's nice, you'll be out here. Oh my gosh. Look at that view. It does bring the outside in, doesn't it? It is spectacular, isn't it? After a good look around, Pete and Bridie may have found their dream wedding venue. But there's just one more thing before they make that all-important decision. Do you reckon we can actually get all our guests around the motorhome to make this like a proper on-the-road photo? Yeah, I think so. Put the deposit down. Yeah, let's go and have a glass of champagne first. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Hooray, they've found it! A perfect venue for them and their motorhome. So where's that fizz, then? <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations to the happy couple. Cheers. Cheers. Right, I'm off to buy a hat. <laughs> Next time on Million Pound Motorhomes, we meet the family of five living full-time in a converted bus. We'd always say, we're going to road school them. The, the, the look of confusion on their faces, yeah. they were like, what? Chef James Martin gives us an exclusive tour around his luxurious motorhome. After 15 years of motorhoming, this has got everything that I ever wanted. And we follow Trudy and Adam as they make a life-changing decision with their business. If it goes well, it'll go really well. If it goes wrong, it's going to go horribly it's wrong. It's scary. That's Million Pound Motorhomes next Sunday at 8. Settle in for more All Creatures Great and Small this week as Skeldale House descends into chaos. Is that possible? New Thursday night at 9. New next, the Edinburgh export who became one of the world's biggest stars. A profile of Sean Connery, the man and the movies, in just a moment.